Hello, in this video, we'll show you how you can use multiple time frames in your Bind Script indicators. So, here, for example, I have a Bitcoin USD perp on our chart, and I have a very simple um, indicator. So, when my price cross over moving average, go uh, long, and when, when it cross under my moving average, move short. So, and let's say, for example, I want to um, get the confirmation from a daily chart. And to get data from another time frame in general, in PineScript, you have to use security function. And it's quite easy to use security function. It has three main arguments, uh, symbol, resolution, and expression. So symbol, um, you can use the same symbol you're using on your main chart, but I will go with uh, ticker ID. Um, Ticker ID is built-in variable and it always stores your current uh, symbol and this way you can be sure that you're working on the same symbols. And uh, a second argument is resolution, I will use daily one. And uh, it's quite important that in PineScript you shouldn't use lower, lower time frames than your current time frame. PineScript won't work properly and if you, if you want to work with multiple time frames, try to um, use the lowest time frame as your base time frame in the chart, and after that, get a data, um, additional data with security function on only from higher time frames. And third argument is expression. I will just use close for now. Let's plot it and see how that works. So this blue line is actually our um, daily close. And, and if you think about it, it actually makes sense. So um, here is the last uh, daily bar, hourly bar. And uh, you can see that for um, our daily close is updated for this bar. And it is the same for the next, bar, for the next 24 bars, so for the entire next day. And um, um, so it actually makes sense. Another point I want to, you to know is that um, PineScript actually has a bug in version 2 that definitely you should be aware of. Let me change this version from 3 to 2 and see what will happen. And you can notice that uh, our daily close kind of shifted to the left by one day. And it, it seems now here like first bar of uh, the day and we are ready for this bar. We now close of the, of the day and it's actually kind of cheating. We, we cannot know that. Knowing this stuff, of course, it can create amazing strategies, but they won't make any sense. So if you want to use multiple time frames, try to use version 3 only. I will just return to version 3 now. Okay, so for now I'm using only close here to get only close from daily chart, but actually you can ask PineScript to calculate uh, much more complicated expressions. To do that, you need to define this expression as a function. So I will um, I will create a very simple function, and this function will use the same uh, um, exponential moving average I, I'm using on the main chart. And what you need to do is just to pass a um, function call instead of close here as an expression and just save it. It should work. We can see now that line is much more smoother. So it it's looks like a moving average. So and now you can receive this value from the daily chart. And after that, you can use it um, in your code to um, add additional conditions to your signals, for example. And for example, for long signal, I want price to be uh, above this moving average. And for short signals, I want um, price to be below this moving average. Let's save it and see how will that work. Yeah, it seems like a work. We can see that our uh, long signals below the moving average is now filtered out, so it works. So I think that's all about multiple time frames in PineScript. Thank you for watching. Bye.